Hey there! Been a while since I uh, did an update video. Um, been kind of working on two things this weekend. Um, oh, about, I don't know, four or five years ago, I picked up a Kentucky mandolin. It was an F style. It's an entry level, you know. It, Mandolins, I don't know if you're aware of it, but you know, they, they cost stupid money. I mean, I mean, you're looking at Gibson's in the thousands of dollars. And even a good entry level, you know, you're right up there close to a thousand bucks. You can get some just under a thousand, but uh, there's ma makers out there that have really upped their quality. Well, the problem I ran into with mine, I decided, I found this website where the guy gives lessons, a young man out of Maine, you know, kind of teaches you how to play by ear. And I got my mandolin up and went to tune it, and all my strings were buzzing. I mean, they were just buzzing, and all the way across. So something had changed and moved the neck, you know, with all the weather temperature swings. And so I got new strings, it didn't help, still got buzzing. So I, I tried to build a mandolin once, I think I showed that, so I figured, well, if I did that, you know, I got nothing to lose here. So I went, and this is what I started doing. Okay, this is, uh, like I said, it's a... Uh, Entry level Kentucky and mandolin. Uh, it's beautiful. I mean, aesthetically. I mean, with the gold trim. Oop, there it just went. To, you got the nice gold trim and tail piece. The uh, some nice tiger striping on the back. Nice binding along the side. And then your standard sunburst. I think they call this like more like tobacco. It's kind of a dark. So I checked the fretboard and uh, it was rocking. I mean, I put a square on it and it was rocking like a boat in the center. And you want a little bit in the center. That's what, you know, the truss rod. They're, they're meant to be where you have a slight bow in the center. But I obviously had a real high fret. It must have, you know, pulled up with the weather changes and stuff. And what I mean by fret, these little items right here. So I sanded and filed the frets. Um, I got them they're significantly better. Uh, the one thing and trick I learned, and it's on YouTube too, and they tried it. Right in here, you put a piece of leather, and I went to Hobby Lobby, picked up some leather, and you glue it in there so when you attach the strings, it kind of mutes it. Well, Kentucky and Manufacturer, they tried to do the same. They just had cork in there, and that cork just didn't hold up and disintegrated so I'm gonna be super gluing this in and then I'll put a set of strings on it um, the bridge that just dropped on the floor goes across here and you line them up with the F hole right in the center and then over here but what you do then after you get it tuned you check and you check the end notation. I mean, if down here it's out, you adjust the bridge forward or back to pull it in. And I get to that point and I have to do that. I'll, I'll demonstrate and show it. So that's what I'm doing this weekend. Um, I, I wanted a different type of mandolin strings. I picked some Martins up because... I was going to put them on my grandfather's Martin mandolin I inherited, but didn't do it because it needed some work done. 
the AR-15, I'm sorry, AR-10. I did pretty much complete that. That's over here. Um, I decided to go with the three and a half pound trigger instead of the standard one that came in. So I'll pull the lower apart and put my new trigger in. <coughs> and <coughs> I uh, got a shim for tightening, a crush washer, tighten the muzzle flash, and the back of the gun stock. I got an air vent screw for in the back of the buffer tube. So those are the last little items. And then we'll put her away till spring so I can take it out and shoot it. So kind of a combination, you know, that we got, like I said, this is uh, what model? It's a KM, KM650. And I'm a, you know, I'm just learning to play. So I was thinking of getting another mandolin that's uh, A style with the oval hole and it has that deep mellow tone that's really good for Irish fiddle tunes, Celtic, you know, an old folk. This definitely is for kicking and doing bluegrass on. Um thing that surprised me, they must use real soft varnish. Because I don't know if you can tell. You probably see it right here. See this little there's just little depressions in the clear coat from where the mandolin strap was that came across here. And I hadn't had that strap long. Man, just look at that. So whatever clear the clear coat they put on this, let's not have any hardener in it because it it's pretty sensitive to any kind of scuffing or marking. But again, I you know, I didn't. I think I paid five hundred dollars for it. I think they're running a little more money now since it's been six years. But we'll get it strung up. But <laughs> having it look pretty doesn't do me any good if I can't play it. I, I, the strings were just buzzing terribly. I mean, I it didn't do that when I bought it. It. it had a nice clear tone, real nice action. The strings weren't high. So, all right, I talked enough. And let me turn this around. Uh, I'll come back once I get it all glued and if I'm successful and tune it up. Even if I'm not, I'll let you hear what I mean by the buzzing. And we've had a break in Iowa. Man, it's been minus 25. Today it's 40. I think people were out running around in shorts and sunbathing in our town. It's just that big of a difference. Really warm. All right. You guys have a good one. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Well, hello. Um, so that, uh, this is, I guess, part two or the conclusion of, I, I got the strings on the mandolin and the buzzing is significantly better. It's almost 100% gone. You can hear a little bit once in a while on the upper G. There's a little bit, but no buzzing. Uh, Prior to the, working on it, if I would fret a note, it would it just ring and buzz. It was unplayable. So I filed the frets, leveled them out. Again, the mandolin has a slight bow in the center. I didn't take that out. I just trimmed the, you know, went through and touched up the frets. When an instrument gets dry, sometimes the fret wire will pop up a little. I think that maybe is what happened to this. Uh, new strings. Um, it's new strings. Uh, you're gonna go sharp. You're gonna go flat a lot, out of tune. 
I got my tuner on here. It seems to be pretty good. As far as mandolin playing, <laughs> like my strap came undone. Um, I bought this five, six years ago. My grandfather played a mandolin. Uh, I never did, and I struggled. I, I played guitar and would play major chords, you know, so when I'd get in a group, you know, I would, you know, usually a lot of the stuff was the key of D. So they're, they weren't complicated chords. Most of them are major, minor. The main trick was, you know, keeping the right tempo for everyone to follow. Uh, then, back in a number of years back, I don't know, in the 90s, middle 90s, I found I had a, a tumor on my acoustic nerve in my right ear. And so in removing it, it destroyed the hearing in my right ear. Now, when we, we would play, about every Sunday they'd come to my house and there'd be two or three of us. And the other two or three were pretty talented mandolin player, banjo players. And like always, they'd say, okay, start us off. And then when they would jump in, the volume of their instruments with just my one ear, I couldn't hear myself playing. And I wasn't hitting the chord changes. I, I was... You know, and they stopped and they even asked, did you, did you forget the song? And I'm laughing. I said, no, I can't hear myself play. And I'm holding my guitar up like this up to my ear, you know, strumming it, trying to hear me plus the others with one ear. And it was just way too much for it to process. So, and then the others, you know, their kids were getting older, life got busy, and we just kind of stopped playing. But I always wanted to learn the mandolin. Uh, so picked one up. Uh, my problem is that I can't read music, you know, play by ear. <laughs> Got one ear. And, but, with the legs and feet bad, I figure what the heck, you know, sit there and see what I can do. But, songs yeah yeah I have to learn them there's one kind of remember called gold rush and I'll try to play a little bit of it so you can hear how it sounds oh that worked out good didn't it getting some buzzing and uh, I managed to make it something that's playable you know. so here's the update I was able to accomplish my goal get this where it's playable now the next goal is learn how to play it <laughs> and uh, we'll see how that goes I have no excuse now I got something that I can actually play 
that's it for now. We'll see you next time. Bye.